Hey guys, what's going on? Here we are at Stanford's Furniture. He closed down about six months ago. As you can see the signless sign right there, it does still have power. It's an interesting story about this furniture store. As we walking up the hill, catch my breath here. The furniture store, like I said, closed about six months ago. The reason being, the parking lot is too small for the square footage of the building. As you can see, it still has furniture inside. Old newspaper. Mr. Stanford tried to sell the furniture store. He couldn't make it here, so he tried to sell the building. The city of Cookville, Tennessee put a stop to it. Because of the size of the square foot of the building, does it, the parking lot's too small. So therefore, he cannot sell it. How ridiculous that sounds. Like I said, it still has all the furniture in here. As I said, it still has power. There's the sign for lease or sale. But as I said, he cannot sell it. I'll show you in a second. The store, this building has two stories to it. The building basically is too big for the parking lot. The square foot, the square size of the building, the square feet of the building is too big for the parking lot. So he, therefore, he cannot sell it unless he takes the second floor, to, unless he tears down the second floor or they demolish this building. That's the only way he can sell it. That was the first reason why he closed. It was a nice furniture store. The second reason is he's a local boy from Cookville, Tennessee. Really Sparta. And he tried to compete with the bigger furniture stores. Well, when you're going to compete with the big dogs, you can't be a local boy. And, well, he bit off more than he could chew. It's a good looking at the side of the building. It's a nice building. Hmm. When you're gonna compete with name brands, you better be prepared, you know, to be a big dog. Well, being from here, being a local guy, with everybody knowing who you are, you're not gonna be a big dog. I hope I just said that right. I hope you understand what I was trying to say there. It's a nice building, really nice building. As you can see, everything was left. You can see the parking lot here, trash. Mm. 
There's another angle of the building. Now, what I was told was, before he had this as a furniture store, the city had it. It was some kind of city building. I can't remember exactly what he told me it was, and I tried to Google it. It doesn't really come up. There's the other side of the parking lot. Now, this side, he sold furniture. This side, they sold mattresses. As you can see, everything in there was left. Now, back to what I was saying. You know, being from here where everybody knows you, your cousins with everybody, your brothers and sisters with everybody, everybody knows who you are, you're not gonna be a big dog. And he tried to be the big dog, trying to be a name brand furniture store. That don't work that way. He didn't last here very long as a business. They tried to move a mattress company in here. They didn't last very long either. But the main re but the biggest thing is, and this to me steps on all of our rights. He goes and buys the building. That's fine. But he can't sell it because of that second floor right there and because of the square footage of the building. The parking lot's way too small for it. So the city, when he went to go sell it, put a stop to it and said, nope, you can't sell it. You can lease it all you want to. You can lease it all day long, but you cannot sell it unless you demolish it or you take out the second level. How crazy. I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. If you like what I do, please hit the like button for me. Hit the thumbs up for me. People, please hit the thumbs up for me. Please share my channel. Please leave some comments. And people. I love you guys. And now I wanted to say people, thank you for the subscribers that just subscribed to my channel. I would love to hit 500. I would love if I hit 500 subscribers. Means I'm halfway to going live. Love you guys. You guys stay awesome. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.